because he has been good to me, y'all. You hear me? He has delivered me. He has set me free from the symptoms of bipolar. He set me free from pain in my body, from back pain, from arthritis pain, from migraines, chronic migraines. And I'm grateful. And he retired me and gave me a teaching salary, my retirement, and and showed me how to build Airbnbs to sustain myself. And and I'm just grateful, y'all. So whatever he tells me to do, I do. That's why I'm on here. He told me to run with the dog every day. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not running today, but I'm walking. And um, he told me to do YouTube every night, every night. Sing him, read the Bible, take him and pray. I haven't missed a day since June 7th, 2019. You can't do that if you're not walking in your purpose, walking in divine, and walking in divine healing. I couldn't do anything other every day before because I was too busy, depressed, sleeping, and being irritable, and, and ugh, just not living, a, uh, not walking in the victory like I am now. And I'm, I'm very transparent so that people know what I'm going through, know that if I can get through it, you can get through it. And there's no good thing God will withhold from them that walk up, right? Just do the best that you can. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. Romans 3.23 says that all sin and fall and show the glory of God. So you just do the best that you can. Love God. Love yourself. And love your neighbor as yourself. Just treat people like you want to be treated. But don't forget, love God first. Love yourself second, okay? Don't get it twisted. We're not supposed to love everybody else more than we love ourselves. We're not supposed to do stuff for other people that we won't do for ourselves. We have to love ourselves. When we love ourselves, we're honoring God. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, which we have of God. We are not our own. That's, our, that's 1 Corinthians 6, 19. So whatever we do in our bodies, we're honoring God. When we eat good food, ask God for food to eat for your body. He made you specifically. He made us all. And I asked him, what food do I eat for my body, Father, to make me feel better? He told me stay away from all foods that cause inflammation. So I took away all foods. I took away the dairy. I took away the meat. I took away um, um, sugar. Everything it causes, tomatoes, everything, and I share it all in my book, Cracks in the Potter's Clay, How I Overcame 541 with Faith. I share in my book how to build an Airbnb, because God helped me to build an Airbnb in my wilderness experience when I was alienated from my, my loved ones. My children wouldn't even speak to me because of a lie somebody told, but God had me focus on that, leaving them an inheritance. Don't worry about it. They're still your heirs. Don't worry about it. They're speaking to you. You're not. You do what I tell you to do. So I did what he told me. And he has restored those relationships since. And I get to raise my granddaughter now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if we walk by faith, not by sight, stuff don't always feel good in life, y'all. But you got to keep on. You got to keep on. And you got to listen for God's voice. You have to listen for his voice. You have to be, take time to be, to be quiet. He had to get me by myself to separate me from everybody. To get, to, to get me to listen to him. That's what it, that, was, that was. I had to learn the hard way. I had to be alienated. Yeah, I, I don't know how he does everybody else, but I couldn't hear his voice like I hear it now. When I was with my husband, I couldn't hear his voice like I could now. So now I just aim to please God. That's it. That's it. There's nothing phony about me. There's nothing, no motives, no ulterior motives. I'm, I'm just trying to do what God tell me to do. That's all I'm trying to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm getting my exercise in. Let's see. I'm going out there more here. Does it show the minute? Since I'm not running, I want to at least walk for 20 minutes. But I don't have to do all of that online. But just because I got to record this anyway and then post it so that I can put it on my website. As I do, I upload my website every day to motivate people um, to, to, to trust God with their life and, and to um, motivate people to exercise and 
and just be happy and speak those things that are not as if they are so they will come to pass teach your people how to walk in divine healing like i am it's a, it's possible the word of god is true y'all it's not just a book it's true isaiah 53 5 says well, by jesus strength we are healed i stand on that word i stand on that word and i walk in divine healing y'all <laughs> I, I used to be sick I used to be sick, 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 sick. 177 migraines in 2017 to 2018. Fell 27 times. Had all kinds of skin issues. All kinds of skin issues. Back pain. Horrible arthritis pain. And every day I was suffering. I was suffering. And now I'm walking to find healing, y'all. It's our right as children of God. We don't have to accept pain, y'all. We don't have to accept sickness and disease. We speak against it. We stand on God's word. Just, you have nothing to lose, only to gain. By speaking what you want over your life. Don't say I'm sick. Don't say I have this or I have that. But I am healed by Jesus' stripes. I walk in divine healing all the days of my life. I will live and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. No weapon formed against me will prosper. I will refute every tongue that accuses me. I am God's beloved. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My God supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory. And he owns everything. And there's no good thing that he will withhold from them that walk upright. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's word is true, y'all. God's word is true. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. He's no respect of persons, y'all. I'm no better than anybody else. I'm no better than anybody else. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I just want people to be as happy as I am because it's possible. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to. I've overcome bipolar one. And I've overcome sickness and disease. And, um, and I'm just doing what God has told me to do. Walking in my purpose. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like like work because it's what god i ask god what you want me to do so i got brave and what do you want me to do tell me what to do and it's what he told me to do and that's why i do it every day i don't have a day i've been doing this since june 7th 2019 every single day two posts a day youtube and facebook <laughs> and sometimes more posts than that whenever the spirit leads me, whenever he tell me to post something tell me to go swimming post encourage people to swim Encourage people to run. Encourage people to do this. Encourage people to dance. Encourage people to worship God. Encourage people. He just wants me to encourage people. That's my job. Hey, Valeria. I thank you, God, for sending me somebody to pray for. Thank you for saying blessings to me, Valeria. Let me bring you on. Uh-oh. What I do? What I do? I say bring them on camera. Let me see if I can add this. I've been running my mouth. Give some time to say something for the Lord. <laughs> it's saying adding. Let's see. Valeria, oh, my sister in Christ, thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> Hello. Stop here, stop. Oh, why are you laughing? They ain't, you ain't, they ain't let you bring you on. It didn't let you. It didn't bring you on. I tried to bring you on with me. Okay, let me just pray for you then. God, I thank you for Valeria, God. I thank you for letting her still be in the land of the living today, y'all. We can't take life for granted. We can't take life for granted, you know. We gotta be thankful. I thank you for my sister being in the land of the living again today, Father. I thank you that she still has her eyesight. She can still. So here, she can see me 
can't hear my voice, Father. Hallelujah. Everybody didn't wake up with all their senses today. We are blessed and highly favored. Thank you, God. We have to we have to live out a place of gratitude, y'all. We, we can't be grateful and complain at the same time. When there's, there's always something to complain about. It's always going to be something to complain about. But it's always going to be something to praise God for. Just, just he let the sun come up today. The moon is up right now. Hallelujah, glory to God. We are still in the land of the living. Oh, your hair is a mess. <laughs> I understand, sister. I understand. <laughs> God, I thank you for sending Valeria. Just her presence encourages me, Father. People, it's not it's not easy what I do, y'all. I do what God tells me to do, but it's not easy. It's not easy all the time. It's not easy doing the right thing all the time. It's not easy being consistent, but you just do it. You just do what you got to do. Because, see, God, I look at it like this. People have accountability partners, you know, people that keep them on the right track. God is my accountability partner that's how i live my life he sees everything i do he knows every motive i have he knows everything and i'm very aware of his presence and i seek his will for my life i seek to be in his will all the time this is what i seek i want to please my heavenly father i want to go home to be with jesus one day and i want to hear well done my good and faithful servant how can she tell him in my life that I see? This is the desire of my heart. This is the desire of my heart. Thank you, God. Oh, I thank you, God. Oh, I feel his presence, y'all. I feel it. Holy Spirit, thank you, God. God, I thank you for Valeria. I thank you for touching her and anybody else on this line. From the tops of their head to the soles of their feet, Father. Ask that you send your ministering angels right now where they're needed. God, I ask that you send your warring angels right now where they're needed to fight off those spiritual attacks against them right now in the I, I bind every spirit of depression, every spirit of torment, I bind it, I cast it down to hell. Every spirit of confusion, I bind it and I cast it down to hell. Every spirit of infirmity, I bind it and I cast it down to hell. Spirit of despair, I bind it, I cast it down to hell. Spirit of suicidal thought, I bind it, I cast you down to hell. Hey, should, spirit of unforgiveness, I bind you, I cast you down to hell. In the name of Jesus, and I, 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 I lose joy and peace and, and love and kindness and gentleness and faithfulness and goodness and self-control. All the fruits of the Spirit that will enable yeah, them to walk, enable us to walk in perfect peace. I lose these things right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive them in the name of Jesus. James 4, 7 says, surrender to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. I surrender to you, God. I resist you, Satan. You must flee. You must obey the word of God. Isaiah 53, 5 says that I have healed, that we are healed by Jesus' stripes. You have to obey the word of God. You take your lion's symptoms and you go back to hell where you belong because our bodies are functioning in the way that they are designed to function. We are strong. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are healed. We're getting better with each passing moment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for blessing me. Valerius and her family, Father. Thank you for blessing everybody connected to her, Father. I thank you for protecting them, Father. Sending your, your guardian angels to protect them wherever you go according to your word so that she can walk with her head up high in confidence. No fear. No, no, anything, no fear of anyone. No fear of any sickness. No fear of any disease. No fear. Period. In the name of Jesus, only confidence in God. Kita, shut up. <laughs> she see that out there. <laughs> 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 shut up. 
you got a big mouth. You got a big mouth. Nikita, hush, 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 hush. You hear me? Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Elvis, amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray all these things. Amen. Let's go see. Let's go see your friend. <laughs> Nikita got friends around here. He got friends around here. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> no All right, see you. <laughs> he had his shorts on, that's why he put them on the kettle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola, mi Lucia. Como estas, mi amor? Como estas, Sofia? Come está bien. Come está bien. <laughs> Ella está cre creciendo <laughs> rápidamente, muy rápidamente. Gracias, Dios. Pero por mi amiga Iluska, la editora de mi libro, Grietas en la Orcilla de la Forero, como Super A People, la uno con fe. Gracias por su ayuda. Gracias por su apoyo. Gracias por su amistad. En el nombre de Jesús, da a ella todo lo que está rezando por. En el nombre de Jesús, toca su cuerpo de la cabeza hasta los pies. Cualquier cosa que no esté bien en su cuerpo, por, por, um, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, arregla lo en el nombre de Jesús. Arregla le da a ella paz que ella no puede entender. El paz de Dios, el paz de Dios en todas las cosas en su vida. Da a ella éxito en el nombre de Jesús. Ninguna arma formada contra mi luz que prospera en el nombre de Jesús. Ay, gracias a Dios. Gracias a Dios. Amén. Amén. Yeah, I have a, my friend, Veluska, in, in Cusco, Peru, who was my teacher in in Peru when I won a Fulbright Hayes scholarship to study Spanish in Peru. And Veluska was my teacher, and she was the editor to my Spanish version of my book, Cracks in the Potter's Clay, How I Overcame Bipolar One with Faith. And she was just so very supportive of me so kind to me when I was in Peru by myself feeling insecure because this was my almost my final year of teaching. I retired in 2018. I won, I taught for 22 years. I won that Fulbright hate. I didn't get to go overseas to study until my last year. <laughs> that was in 2017. But I went to Peru and and I felt unworthy. I didn't feel as worthy as the other teachers because I had never studied abroad. God gave me that honor right before I retired. And I didn't feel as confident as everybody else. But me, Luska, her smile and her warm manner of being just made me feel comfortable. She just encouraged me. And, you know, was, everything was in Spanish the whole time I was there. And and she just encouraged me and told me how well I spoke Spanish and how smart I was. And she just encouraged me. And I'll never forget that. God puts people in your lives all the way over in Peru. He gave me a friend to encourage me. And other, my, my house mother, Marina, was wonderful also. And Sylvia, she was helping Marina to care for me in the house. They cooked my meals for me. And and made everything comfortable for me and they were very kind to me very kind to me as that was a it was a it was a culture shock and yep 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 so that's why i just was talking in spanish because it says maluska is watching so god showed me her watching yes 
Okay, y'all. Well, I love you. I thank you for being here with me. You have a beautiful, God bless night. Get your exercise on. You see, I'm just walking, y'all. So all you got to do, just walk. Just do what you can do. Do what you can do for your temple today. All right. Bye.